my name is Jonathan Green. I'm the uh, Mounted Stable Manager here at the Woolford Fuller VC Operational Training Centre. I did 33 years in the police and then I retired and I came back as Stable Manager. I've been doing that about five years. The top role, you know, or, the, or the, the highest role of the police where we, and people always say, oh yes, you use police horses in riots. And we do, we use them in public order situations. The reason that we still use them is because they are very big, powerful creatures. Uh, it's very easy to control large crowds of people with one single police horse. And you can imagine if you have 12 police horses together, um, they are actually quite a, a powerful unit. We have to be quite selective about the type of jobs that maybe the, the younger horses can do. And what we try to do is pair up the, the younger horses with the more experienced horses so that they can gain in confidence. We have to try and train them very slowly to make sure that they, they find it a fun experience. A few years ago we had a, in fact I was in a demonstration where some bright spot decided that they would rip up a tarpaulin and start shaking it at the horses. And I've got to say, most of the police horses were frightened to death of it and we couldn't get near them and it was embarrassing. It was really embarrassing, so we thought, okay, we've got to do something, we've got to train for this a little bit. So it's very much up to the rider really, just to keep the legs on, just try and encourage the horse to go forward. And if he doesn't want to go, I'll just use the, the horse Trinity just to come and help him. What we don't want him to do, we don't want him to nap away from this, we really want him to, you know, to just go over this quite happily. That's it, good, right, make a big pattern, make a big reward, it's great. Start to teach the horses actually, if something resists against you, you know, you push into it. We have a rowdy crowd here. We shout a warning, we use the horses sideways. So that's how we control crowds. We start off really just with a, a very, very small cap gun to start with, um, forming quite a distance, and then we gradually bring the horses closer and closer so that they can, um, they don't react to the, uh, the sharp noise. We do play a little bit of horse football, if you like. The serious side of this is actually moving things away from the legs, the horses bashing into things. Um, certainly for our job, you know, objects that we bash into people perhaps that actually touch their legs, we don't want them to back off. Fear of fire and the fear of smoke are two quite difficult things really to, to overcome really with, with any animal I think really, but especially with a horse. We may have to uh, use horses perhaps where petrol bombs has, have been thrown and then we may have to walk through the residual petrol as it's burning on the floor. So we want to try and get as little reaction from the, the horse as we can. So what we do, we let off little bits of smoke to start with. Again, let the horses chase it away. So the horses are actually going into it. Very often with this machine, it's not so much the smoke they're frightened of, they're actually frightened of the noise of the machine. <laughs> Strangely enough. That's good. 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 We use this in displays. I suppose it's got a, a bit of a fun factor, really, for the, uh, the crowd to watch horses jumping through fire. The more, the more serious side of that for us, I suppose, is a, is a public order resource. Keep him coming forward. <laughs> 